Hello everyone, Kat Lewis here. So today I have a few non-phone remote jobs I'm gonna share. And the first one is for all of you who are interested in doing accounts payable. And as you know, in accounts payable, you do have to communicate with vendors on occasion. But this is a non-phone AP position. You'll be communicating with vendors through email. And the other two positions, it looks like they're hiring multiple people for these two roles. And they have several different shifts from which to choose. So we're gonna jump right into them. The non-phone accounts payable position comes to us from Rite Aid. They're hiring an accounts payable coordinator level two, and this is a full-time remote position, and this job was just posted yesterday. The primary purpose of this position is to perform day-to-day -day financial transactions, including verifying, classifying, and recording accounts payable data into the corporate accounts payable system. You'll be responsible for managing and responding to emails received from internal and external customers via the department email box. So just like they tell us here, this is an email position, it's non-phone. You'll review rejected invoices, prepare departmental reports, perform ad hoc analysis upon request, and prepare reconciliations as part of Rite Aid's monthly fiscal close process. So 50% of your time, you'll be preparing and processing paybacks and chargebacks to vendors based on internal AP requests or requests from other departments in accordance with corporate policies and procedures. And then 20% of the time, you'll monitor departmental email box and respond to inquiries or forward to an appropriate party for resolution. In the remainder of your time, you'll perform analysis to assist in the resolution of vendor claims and also provide support for various departmental controls, as well as review invoices rejected by the three-way match verification and process as appropriate. And as with all accounts payable positions, there's a lot of data entry. You'll manually key invoices and credit memos as needed to ensure timely and accurate payment to vendors. They're not asking for a whole lot of education in this position, but they would like you to have a high school diploma or a GED that's required, and they prefer you have an associate's degree. Now that's only preferred, it's not required. They'd like you to be proficient in Microsoft Outlook, Word, and Excel, and it's preferred you have experience with SAP or Tableau. Again, preferred, not required. They do want you to have two years experience in accounts payable, and you have the ability to read simple written or verbal instructions. You're also able to write short memo and messages and you're able to communicate information effectively one-on-one -on -one and in small groups. You need good math skills and you have the ability to apply common sense understanding to carry out detailed written or oral instructions. You're a good problem solver and you're okay working in a team environment as well as independently. So benefits come with this position. However, they don't tell us how much they'll pay for this job. But doing a little bit of research, it looks like the average salary for an accounts payable coordinator ranges anywhere from $46,000 to a little under $55,000 per year. So that comes to between $22 and $26 per hour. The next non-phone work from home position I have comes to us from Maven. Actually, we have two positions with Maven and they are hiring multiple people for these roles. The first one we'll talk about is for a care support representative, and they are hiring in, it looks like about 23 states. So if your state is listed here, you're definitely good to go. And when I read through this, it says right here, Maven is looking for full-time care support representatives, plural. So it looks like they're hiring multiple people for this role. And the starting date for this job will be Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. And they have a couple of different shifts listed here. You can work Tuesday through Saturday with Sundays and Mondays off, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone, or Tuesday through Saturday with Sundays and Mondays off from 11 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, even though both of these shifts are for the Eastern Standard Time Zone, you don't have to live in that zone. You just have to be able to work within those hours. And as we scroll down a little bit, they tell us that they will pay between $20 and $22 per hour if you live in the states of New York, Colorado or California. For any other state, the range might be different, but I would definitely start at the high end. And it looks like you get a nice suite of benefits to include family planning, 401k with company matching, and a whole lot of time off. So in this role, you'll be supporting both members and providers, delivering exemplary service, primarily through email and in-app messaging services such as Zendesk. You'll share information about Maven, everything from product functionality to the range of the provider services and beyond. You'll provide personalized appointment booking support, provide first-line technical support, and escalate technical issues as appropriate. You'll also collaborate with teammates to provide the best possible solutions. 
Keep clear and thorough documentation of your work. Collaborate as a team with the care associates at Maven who are responsible for member case management, as well as really member insights to management to improve product development, team processes, and workflows. You should be able to demonstrate the ability to get things done. You have exceptional attention to detail abilities and great research skills. You have the ability to work both independently as well as with a team. You have the ability to develop creative solutions to solve customer problems, and you're able to stay calm under pressure while putting customers at ease. You also have the ability to communicate with empathy and clarity both with customers and your teammates. You have the desire to make a positive impact on the care the members receive, and you have a desire to make a major contribution to an exciting organization that is improving the health of the world. They also list a few helpful experiences, but they tell us if you don't have them, you can learn them with us. It's helpful if you have experience in a high volume customer service setting. It's also helpful if you have experience working with Zendesk. It's helpful if you have healthcare experience, and it's also helpful if you have experience working in a fast paced startup. Those four points are just helpful to have, they're not required. The final non-phone remote position is also with Maven, and this is for a care advocate. And just like the other one, it looks like they're hiring multiple people for this job, and you will be starting October 31st, 2023. And also like the other position, they're hiring in about 23 states, so if your state is listed, you're good. And there are multiple shifts for this particular role. You can work from 3 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday through Saturday, or 3 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, or 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday through Thursday, or 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesdays through Saturdays. And you don't have to live in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. You just have to be able to work within the hours for whatever shift you are working. And benefits come with this position as well. And as far as the pay for New York, Colorado, and California, they'll pay between $24 and $26 per hour. For all other states, the range might be different, but I would definitely start at the high end. And they're considering this to be an entry-level position. So what you'll be doing on a regular basis is deliver amazing service to the providers and patients, primarily via email and messaging. You'll also conduct video appointments with members, provide ongoing case management in accordance with the Maven outreach schedule, answer user questions about the product and provide personalized online appointment booking support, triage urgent care requests, strategize creative solutions to help solve member needs, relay member insights to support product development, take on short-term research products as needed, and provide other duties as assigned. They'd like you to have a background in allied health, human service, or health care. They'd also like you to have a motivated and ambitious outlook. You're dedicated to delivering excellent customer service. You have good problem solving skills and you have the enthusiasm to work independently as well as on a team. You need excellent written and verbal communication skills as well as empathy for patients and devotion to work with discretion as you'll be working with sensitive data. And then they have several additional helpful skills and I consider all of these to be just desired, not required. It's helpful if you have experience working with sensitive health information. Also helpful if you have experience in social work, nursing, public health, or related field. It's also helpful if you currently hold a coaching certification or you have a nursing or behavioral health background. It's helpful if you have experience in insurance navigation, claims advocacy, or medical billing. Helpful if you have experience working in a fast-paced startup environment. Also helpful if you have experience in family planning and maternal child health areas such as pregnancy, postpartum, adoption, surrogacy, and fertility. And it's helpful if you're fluent in other languages besides English. So all those things are helpful. They're not required, but if you meet any or all of these skills, it'll definitely get you a leg up in getting this job. All right, there you go. We just went over a few non-phone remote jobs. I hope at least one of them works out for you. And if you're interested in any of these, check out the links in the description below this video. They'll take you directly to these job leads. And good luck to all of you who apply. And if none of these jobs are for you, but you know somebody who would be interested, feel free to pass this video on to them and leave a comment below. Let me know what it is you are looking for. I sure hope you found this video helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and be sure to turn on all notifications because I don't want you to miss any job leads when I post them. As always, thank you so much for visiting and I'll talk to you again soon.